Hey everybody, it's Nancy from Jersey Shore Worship coming with another partner spotlight. Let me ask you a question. Have you been enjoying these? Uh, okay, come on. If you've been enjoying them, then I need you to type on the screen like, wow, man. Yes. Yes, I have been enjoying talking to our local pastors along the Jersey Shore and beyond um, that are a part of Jersey Shore Worship. As you know, Jersey Shore Worship, we're all about coming together as God's people. Yes, we're united in this thing. We're, we're not separate there. We're many parts, but we're of one body. And it gives me an honor and a privilege. Now, this is somebody that's real special to day y'all <laughs> okay not only is he my pastor but he's also one of my big brothers there's six of us running around here and he's one of them and i'm so honored to serve along with my brother and family can you help me welcome pastor ernest jackson of greater saint john mer church in elizabeth new jersey what's up man Hey, how you doing, sis? <laughs> I am you. well. I am well. Thank God for you and and uh, what we're doing uh, with Jersey Shore Worship. This is an honor to interview my own brother. I know a lot about him, a lot about his ministry, but I'm going to allow him to share uh, uh, about Greater St. John. For some of you that have been wondering, what church do I belong to? Someone always asks me that, where do you go? Well, this is my church and this is my pastor. He's my big brother. So let's get to know a little bit about who Ernest Jackson is. Tell us about your family, how long you've been married, all that good stuff. Well, um, my wife and I, we, we got married. Uh, uh, I was 23 and she was 22. And actually I prayed for her at 14. And, and God, um, we got together about, uh, I think I was 16 and she was 15 and we've been together ever since. So we've been married going on 38 years now. We have uh, two wonderful children, uh, Justin and Felicia, my wife. Shout Lynn. out, shout yeah. out. <laughs> so we're, uh, we just uh, thank God for it. It's been a blessing. She's been a blessing. And um, I just, um, I'm grateful, you know, that uh, we've been together this long. So man. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's a huge testimony, man. I, I remember when you guys met. Uh, Gwen was, uh, she used to visit, our, our next door neighbor was her uncle yeah. and aunt, right? Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, shout out to Lady Gwen Jackson. Just love her. She's my sister-in-law. Yeah, man. So tell us some, um, how did you get started in ministry? I know we are PKs, but I'll, I'll let you tell it. <laughs> well, well, I never really wanted to, to preach at all. I mean, it was just, we, you know, I love singing and writing and things and, and um, it was just, Years ago, when I was at a, a past, a, a, my former pastor church, and I was, and God showed me a dream about our dad, and he he said, um, "Why did we let mom's house burn down?" And I couldn't mm. figure out what that meant. Wow. And I asked my wife. She says, "It must be the church, because I was away for 17 years wow. um, at a, another church leading worship." And mm -hmm. so um, I, I came back, and sure enough. Um, I, it was it was the time for me to come back. It was just an urgency. Mm -hmm. I never dreamed of pastoring. Never wanted to. Never asked for it. But mm -hmm. um, it was in God's plan that uh, um, Dad would uh, would somehow be around for a few years, and then I mean a few months, and got sick and and passed, and uh, and then I was just elected into service pastor, and wow. boy, and that's how it all started. It was it was just amazing. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> well, you know, I, I know a little bit of that journey, but just to back up just even a little bit, um, we are PKs. Our father uh, pastored for over 55 years along with our mother, right along by his side. Um, and he was the um, pastor of this church and actually uh, Bishop Taylor who was the founder of Greater St. John. Well, it was just St. John uh, for the longest. And then uh, Bishop Taylor invited my, our father to come and be the junior bishop. And then when he passed, our father became the senior bishop. And uh, it's, it's just amazing, the legacy um, in our family. Uh, we, we come from a line of preachers. Our family is, is filled with preachers. We have an older brother who preaches. Um, yeah. And uh, our sister, Denise, is a, a minister as well, Minister Jackson, she's there. And I'm also there. But can you just share with us um, uh, the process? I know that we both, you and I, we were ordained at Christ Church. Can you share a little bit about that? Yes, well, um, while you were ordained there, I, I was made a minister there, but I wasn't ordained there. Um, okay. I think when I left, 
um, that's and I came to dance uh, back to dance back to home church, dad church. Mm -hmm. um, that's when um, dad had passed him. So this Dr. Jiggins had ordained me mm -hmm. um, to be wow. to be a pastor. So wow. it was a different process, and it was mm -hmm. it was it was a it was a lot that they had to deal with and go through. Yeah. But God yeah. brought us through. Man. Yeah, he did that. I mean, you were called to do this. Um, I love you. And you're a powerful, anointed man of God. Of God uses you even in prophetic, man. You're just, uh, I just gleaned from you and just watching to see your progression and see how the Lord raised you up. Um, being a little sister is just amazing to me. And I surely, and I'm sure the rest of Greater St. John, thank you for your obedience to say yes. You know, you didn't have to say yes, but you did. And so grateful for that, man. Yeah. So tell us about Greater St. John. Uh, tell us about the bent of our ministry. Well, um, well, we're, we're, we're uh, uh, a five-fold ministry, I believe, in uh, a deliverance ministry as well and prophetic. And, um, and, you know, we, do, we serve God and we love God. And, you know, we, we have definitely a, a, a powerful uh, a spiritual anointing on us, you know, and, and the saving ministry, I believe, and, you know, an outreach ministry as well. So we, we're kind of a mixture of, of, of millennials, um, uh, baby boomers, you know, the generation X's, the whole mixture of people. But it's a wonderful, blessed uh, people that we serve um, each week. And so I love it to death. I, I thank God for, um, you know, the, the people in the ministry and how we were able to serve our, our community. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's a blessing just to be there. Amen. 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 It is. And, you know, in addition to that, Pastor Ernest, we are a worshiping church. Yeah. We That's love right. to worship. You know, it's been stated and I won't do any of our, my personal impersonations of you uh, acting like Stevie Wonder. <laughs> 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 but you know, when he was younger, y'all, he literally <laughs> thought he was blind and he was Stevie Wonder. He would move his head, like him and everything. But you sound like Stevie Wonder too, man. I know a lot of people have told you that. You have an incredible singing gift. And that element of worship that you're, you, you know, you have a heart for, for worship and for God. And you're a songwriter. Um, a lot of your songs have been recorded and you even have your own personal um, CD that was just released last year, right? Yes, last year. Yeah, it was released last year. So uh, you're definitely um, uh, uh, just right the heart of God. And our church flows in worship. We, we definitely have a free house. And I'm so grateful for the freedom that we have there. Yeah. So, you know, um, Ernest, Pastor Ernest, um, we have seen so much growing up as children of PKs. Um, we've seen our parents sacrifice uh, we've seen them uh, toil and work hard in ministry. We've seen their faithfulness and everything that they they have given and poured into uh, ministry. But uh, this is this is an encouraging time. I think we're using and we're doing these videos to encourage people. Can you share what are some of the joys of pastoring? What do you love about pastorhood? Well, what I love is when I see um, people' lives changed. You know, just by, um, you know, um, the word of God uh, that, that he allows me to preach and teach and just to see people's lives turn and change, and change around and turn around. Um, that brings the joy of, um, and brings the most joy, you know, to anything. And I'm telling you, I just love to see that when people um, lives you see is it's, it's changed because of something that God has given you to minister to them. Amen. And that's the, there's nothing better than that. Amen. Nothing better than that. Yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. Well, I know Greater St. John is right in the heart of the city of Elizabeth. Um, just so you know, if you're watching, you are watching um, an, a spotlight interview of Pastor Ernest Jackson, who just so happened to be my big brother. And he is my pastor, the pastor of Greater St. John in Elizabeth, New Jersey. The address is 183 6th Street. If you want to connect with us, we do have services online right now. And we're soon transitioning, but right now we're still online. You can join us on our Facebook page, which is Greater St. John M-E-R Church. And some of you may be asking, what does that M-E-R stand for? Pastor, can you tell them what that M-E-R stands for? Well, it's Methodist Episcopal Reform Church. Yeah, <laughs> but we, we, do we, well. No, we don't practice that. No. We don't practice that. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we like to call ourselves Greater St. John Church, um, but you yeah. can connect with us on our Facebook page, which is Greater St. John, M-E-R, Church, as well as our website, which is greaterstjohn.org, greaterstjohn.org. Now, Pastor, there's a lot of highlights, a lot of things. We love touching people at Greater St. John. Can you share with us some of some of you, uh, you know, your heart's uh, highlights of our ministry. Well, I was thinking about one today that um, uh, well, I think it was a few years ago we had a, a baptism in our in our yard, and we mm. we had a big pool we we bought, <laughs> and then we mm. we baptized like twenty four people at one time. Wow! And it was just, it was it was a blessing, man, just to wow. baptize so many people because we mm-hmm. we never my dad did the old our dad did you know the old way with the sprinkle. Mm-hmm. sprinkling on the head stuff but mm-hmm. um, we, we wanted to change kind of change that up and do it the way jesus did and so mm-hmm. we rented it we bought a pool by in fact from walmart and mm-hmm. we filled that the firemen came and filled the pool with water and we baptized 24 people wow. in that pool so that was wonderful I enjoyed yeah that. that's great there's so many other highlights i know for our outreach ministry uh which minister denise um is headed up we do so many things where we go to the senior citizens um and mm-hmm. she uh, conducts Bible studies with uh, some of the senior citizen uh, centers in Elizabeth. Um, she does that. We also have a whole support group um, that happens on the first Friday of every month, right? Yes. And uh, tell yes. us a little bit about the whole support group. Whole support group is just for those that you know that are going through um, trials and, and, and tough times, and mm-hmm. and then she gets to minister, minister. And of course, Minister Jackson, she's a, a licensed uh, counselor as well. Mm. So she gets to, um, you know, the minister to them and they get to share, you know, their problems and it's held in confidence, but it's a blessing um, each time that they have it. Um, people get to share their their um, hurt and pain and, and get help, you know. So that's the most important thing because people are really hurting uh, even more today than, 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 you know, than anything. So yeah. they need that. Yes. Most definitely. And you know what else I love to pastor, you have a man to man. Um, we yes. know women, we get together, you know, and that's uh-huh. necessary, but I right. love, and we do have a women's ministry as well, but pastor, yes. tell us a little bit about the man to man. Well, the man to man is, you know, our prayer line we have uh, every other Friday and we just talk about men's subjects and uh, I, you know, I can come up with scripture, but there's topics that we have and we get to really share uh, like men, you know, men, it's tough, it's tough for us to share, but when we get around men, uh, we get around ourselves, we can really share and, you know, and open up ourselves. And so I think it's most important because men don't talk like, you know, like you said, women, they can talk and get together, but men, it's tough for us to talk. And so somebody has to break the ice. And once we break the ice and start talking, you know, it, it becomes real good. We get to empower one another. So I love that. Um, most definitely. And it is so needed, especially yes. when you see the breakdown of the male um, mm-hmm. in our community, in our society. So it's great to see that uh, men are coming together like that. That's so beautiful. You know what else I feel that's a highlight of our, of our ministry is we love to eat. And I think we have the best cooks in the world. Like, literally, we cook for everything, like everything. We, because you know yes. what? We love community. We love people at Greater St. John. We love connecting to people. And food brings people together. But I think for every one of our holidays, for Thanksgiving, we, we always do something special for Thanksgiving where we're giving yes. to the poor. Uh, we're, we're preparing baskets. Christmas time, we give to the community. Can you share a little bit about what we do for Christmas? Yes, we put, we put baskets together, um, and um, you know we we uh, we sometimes we raffle off we raffle off some things, but we also have uh, hoodies and and socks we give out, and yeah. and you know things that will be a blessing, and you know hats and gloves that really are needed, you know. And so it's yeah. been a blessing to, to be able to give, and it's always uh, Jesus tells us it's better to give than to receive, and so yeah. we definitely do a lot of that. So yeah, we just we enjoy do. doing that. <laughs> and you know what else I am love doing. Um, um, you guys have allowed me to be able to write plays. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's something very unique about our ministry is that we do special events, but we always do little skits and mm-hmm. uh, we add the uh, drama piece 
to yeah. us, a lot of our special events. And that's something mm -hmm. that's very special. We have some actors in our church. I love the way that God pulls those giftings out of people. You didn't know that they could do this stuff. And the next thing you know, they up there acting and, and doing all kinds of stuff. So uh, those are some of the highlights of our ministry. And, and I mean, our people are just some incredible, incredible people. Um, next, Pastor, can you share with us, what do you see in the future for our church? Well, I see our church really um, being more my, multicultural. God had showed me a dream, mm -hmm. and I saw our worship team was, it was multicultural. It mm -hmm. was different cultures and, you know, Spanish and, you know, just different, different cultures. And so I see our church growing multicultural because our, the area has changed mm -hmm. literally and it's more um, multicultural now and different yeah. Um, races and so I see God growing our ministry that way, being able to reach out to different cultures and and yeah. just being able to be a you know just to, to be able to be a blessing to all races mm -hmm. and all creeds. And so mm -hmm. I see us doing that, even feeding the homeless, and even uh, I see us having a, um, a, a a center for children as well, daycare center. Yeah. I love God. I see that happening for us as well. So mm -hmm. um, there's so many things I feel that God wants to do, even at having a place for battered women. I see us mm -hmm. purchasing even um, buildings to put a uh, lady of uh, battered women in mm -hmm. and those that are homeless. So uh, wow. I feel God wants to do that with our ministry. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, wow, that's a powerful vision, Pastor. Um, definitely needed in, in our world right now. Um, the one thing I, I think we forgot to mention was that we are actually right now preparing food boxes. Um, yes. um, on Saturdays, we're giving to those that are in need in the community. Uh, if you're just joining us right now, we are talking to my big brother, my, my blood brother, <laughs> uh, Pastor Ernest Jackson of Greater St. John in Elizabeth, New Jersey, 183 6th Street in Elizabeth, New Jersey. If you're looking for a church and you're in that area or, hey, you may be down here and you want to you take a drive up the parkway, um, come and, and join in with us, worship with us. We would love, love, love to have you. Um, Pastor, how has this transition been for, for you, um, especially with us going virtual and, you know, having to worship from home? How has it been for you? Well, it's been, it's been quite different, um, you know, rather than being in front of your people and, and seeing their faces and, mm -hmm. and having now to um, just do it virtually. It's been a, it's been a change. It's, it's been, um, I think it's been good because it's, it's kind of pushed us into um, doing something different, which is hard mm -hmm. sometimes when, you, when we're used to doing the same thing every week. Yeah. But God has been faithful, though. I can tell you God has been faithful. We've still been preaching. And his, and his power is still reaching people. And that's what I love about God, that he can, he can move regardless, whether we're in church or not. His spirit yeah. can move through anything. So um, it's challenged me, but it's been a good challenge. Amen. Well, I tell you one thing, you have been delivering the word unadulterated. Listen, if you need a word from the Lord, you can join us on Sunday mornings. We're on Facebook Live at 10 a.m. We also have a Tuesday night conference call line. We have Wednesday uh, noonday prayer, and we also have Thursdays uh, Bible study, which also happens on our Facebook page, which is Greater St. John M-E-R church okay that's on facebook you can also connect with us on our website as well yeah man uh, you've been dropping some powerful powerful words even this sunday man the word was so so good so good so good so pastor let me ask you what we're dealing with right now um especially with the pandemic um with coronavirus as well as what we're seeing now with the racial tension um how do you feel that is impacting the church? Well, I believe it's causing us to, to pray more, number one, mm -hmm. um, to pray more um, and to trust God more. Mm -hmm. um, because, uh, you know, this pandemic, no one even, we never thought anything like this would even happen. Yeah. And so now it, it, it sometimes it raises fear in people because we don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it makes us want to co draw closer to God. Mm -hmm. And even what's been going on far as racially um, mm -hmm. is causing us to um, to open up our hearts and, and to be uh, more loving and more understanding of, of a culture, yeah. um, you know, that, you know, that um, we've all have come through something and, and we need to be able to 
um, know how to love and, and just appreciate every culture that yeah. uh, we've all had to come through some, some rough stuff. Yeah. And so just bringing us more closer together, like, you know, um, every race is going to have problems. And, and yeah. our race really has have some bad, some, some tough problems. And, yeah. and I believe God is one of others to see, you know, that yeah. we need to be able to embrace and understand what our culture, like every other culture, um, yeah. gone through something. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So true. So true. We really need healing uh, right now. That's been uh, just the sentiment of my heart in prayer is that God would just heal, heal the church, heal the people. I believe that uh, part of this pandemic uh, was definitely to get our attention on God, but in yeah. us getting our attention on God, I believe that he's put a spotlight on us that we need to look internally and look at, you know, just who we are and why we do what we do and, and just make sure that our hearts are pure before the Lord. So, um, you know, and I love, I love um, that God has given you a powerful gift of songwriting. And uh, last year you released your first CD. What is the title of your CD? Oh, you are in my plans. You're you are my... in my plans, man. How many years have you been writing? Um, I started writing at 18, so I'm 60 now, so it's been 42 years. Wow, man. 42 years of writing. You look good. You look good. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. But how was that recording? For, you know, um, it's not every pastor can say that they're a recording artist, so um, they're so proud of you for, for stepping out and doing what I know it was God's uh, call on your life. I know it is God's call on your life to record and to write. How was that experience for you? Oh, it's been a blessing, man. I'm telling you, I just, um, just seeing how uh, it blessed others, but um, it, it was just something that uh, I believe that it got me through a lot, you know, mm -hmm. just writing and singing and mm -hmm. it, it healed me. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this part of my life that God has given me. It's been mm -hmm. a blessing to me. Uh, wow. God. Well, you are blessing others. You're blessing the world. His CD is available on iTunes and all digital platforms, so you can go get it. It's under his name, Ernest Jackson, and the title of your CD is You Were In My Plans. It is an amazing, amazing project. You got to go get it. Just, uh, just so encouraging. And a shout out to the producer, too. Selwyn Arnold, Shout out, you did your thing, brother. You did a, did a wonderful, wonderful job on that. Well, Pastor, thank you for joining me. I Before we go, just one more question uh, that I have. Um, what would you say to someone that is watching this? And just as the title of your CD says, you were in my plans, but maybe they're looking at everything around them is breaking down. Everything is falling and they've lost their jobs. They're in the middle of transition. Maybe they lost a loved one. What would you share right now to that person that may be watching? Well, I would I would tell them that, that God understands and God sees everything and he and he doesn't forget his children. Mm -hmm. uh, he will not leave us. And I always say this, he will not leave us. Jesus said that he will not leave us nor forsake us. And, and I say that um, continue to trust God and continue to lean on him and not on our own understanding. Mm -hmm. um, that God he sees and he will not forget us. And I would tell him just to trust, continue to trust God. Mm -hmm. There's a verse in the scripture I found, and I think it was Psalms 9, 10, said, they, those who know their God, they, those who know the name of their God will mm -hmm. trust in him. Mm -hmm. So um, if you know God, you'll trust in him. You know the name of God, you will trust in the Lord mm -hmm. and lean out our own understanding. So I would encourage them to do that. Amen. Awesome. Wow. Well, this has been great sharing this time with you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is our partner spotlight, Pastor Ernest Jackson of Greater St. John in Elizabeth, which is my church, my pastor. Okay. Our address is 183 6th Street in Elizabeth. And you can catch us online, Facebook Live. We're on there all the time. We're on there on Wednesdays, on Thursdays. We're on there on Sundays. That's Greater St. John M-E-R. All right. That's our Facebook page. Our website is greaterstjohn.org. We would love, love to connect with you. Thank you, Pastor Ernest, for being a part of this. Thank you for being a part of Jersey Shore Worship. I know you, my brother, and you probably 
me feel a sense of obligation. I feel it. <laughs> but it's always great to have family supporting you. Thank you for your support and your prayers for Jersey Shore Worship for me personally. I definitely yeah. love you and appreciate just all that you've imparted uh, through your messages, through your ministry, which is absolutely powerful. Greatest St. John, y'all know I love you. You know I do. GSJ in the heels. Thank God for you so much. And so if you are watching this and you would like to become a partner of what we're doing, we're simply bringing the body of Christ to, to, together as, as one. Greater St. John is one of 70 churches that have joined in with this vision. And if you say, you know what, I think our church should join in with what we're doing. And that's simply demonstrating the spirit of one, which is what God has called us to do. So you can connect with greater with Jersey Shore Worship at jsw1.org. If you want to email us, you can email us at admin at jsw, the number one, dot org. Thank you for watching. Listen, stay tuned. We got a whole lot more partners coming to spotlight their ministry. All right. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Ernest. God bless, bless you, man. You. All right. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.